welcome back guys in the Cordra x7 training in this lecture we'll talk about transparency tool and eyedropper tool here in Cordra so I will just add a rectangle here and we'll add a color to it so this is a color which is called a solid color and you cannot see anything behind this box or this color I mean you cannot see the background or any object behind this color but if we use this tool transparency tool it can make this object transparent a little bit just you need to click the border or inside this anywhere you just click and you can just withdraw the transparency you can change the position of this transparency from here or from here just click this arrow you can move it anywhere you want so this is now if you want to add some some transparency you can add now you make it 100% there will be no picture or I mean no rectangle you make it a little bit like 50% so you can clearly see the background that's mean we have added some transparency to this object you know before we could not see anything behind this object or uh, we, we could not see the background but now we can see because we have added transparency to this object and we can uh, manage or control the transparency using this tool we can increase or decrease the points so this simple transparency tool will do this job now the next tool is color eyedropper tool this tool is always used for selecting a color and putting that color or copying that color to another object for example I will go to file menu and will import a picture from my computer for example I have a picture uh, We'll click import option not export so I will add a picture from my I will just import a picture from my computer to Coldra this one for example so it has m different colors this picture has different colors so if I don't have that color in this color box then I can just copy that color to any object I want for example will use this color I drop or tool will click it and I can select any color from this picture or from any object that is here I just click this area and now you can see we have the color fill option on the pointer now I can withdraw that into any object like this one or if I create uh, one more for example this one this one in this one so once again select color eye dropper tool and I will just click this option this color I can put this to this to this or anywhere I want so this option is simply I color eye dropper tool is to simply select a color from an object and just fill or insert that color into another object that is as simple as that if you don't have that color in your color box you can pick that color from anywhere so there's two options the transparency tool and this color drive uh, dropper tools are the same and you can see their properties here uh, the another one uh, I mean if you want to uh, add color from two areas or if you want to add color from five areas you can select them I mean if you want to add color from uh, your desktop you can select this option so basically very simple tool I just wanted to tell you about this now in next last lecture of this session we will discuss these two tools interactive fill tool and this smart fill tool after that we will close this section and we will go further with some projects